Hi everyone, welcome to Passionate About Tech. I'm so excited to have you here today for a brand new tutorial that's perfect for anyone just starting out with their computer. In this video, we're diving into how to use Windows 11, basic tutorial for beginners. Whether you've just upgraded to Windows 11, got a new PC, or simply want to feel more comfortable navigating this operating system, we'll cover everything from finding your way around the desktop to opening apps, managing files, and even tweaking some basic settings to make Windows 11 work for you. I'll walk you through every step with clear examples, and I'll sprinkle in some handy tips to help you avoid beginner hiccups. My goal is to make your Windows 11 experience smooth and enjoyable, so stick with me and let's get started. Before we jump in, if you enjoy this kind of practical, easy to follow tech content, please consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications for Passionate About Tech. Your support means the world to me and encourages me to keep creating tutorials like this one. All right, let's dive into Windows 11. First, let's talk about the desktop. When you turn on your Windows 11 PC and sign in, you'll land on the desktop. This is your main workspace. You'll see a clean background, maybe a default Windows image, or one you've set yourself, and some icons like the recycle bin. At the bottom, there's the taskbar, your control center. The taskbar has the start button on the left, that little Windows icon and pinned apps like Microsoft Edge, and maybe the store. In the middle, you'll notice the taskbar is centered by default in Windows 11 which is a bit different from older versions. On the right, you've got the system tray with the clock, network icon, volume, and battery if you're on a laptop. Let's start with the Start menu. Click the Start button. A menu pops up with pinned apps-like tiles you can click to open programs and a search bar at the top. At the bottom, you'll see a recommended section with recent files or apps. To see all your apps, click All Apps in the top right corner. This lists everything installed alphabetically. For example, if you want to open Notepad to jot something down, scroll to N, find Notepad and click it. Easy, right? If you use an app a lot, right-click it and select Pin to Start or Pin to Taskbar to keep it handy. Let's pin File Explorer to the taskbar. Find it in the Start menu, right-click, and choose Pin to Taskbar. Now it's always one click away on your taskbar. Next, let's explore the desktop itself. You might have files or shortcuts here, like a Word document called My Notes Docx. To open it, just double click. If you want to clean things up, right click an empty spot on the desktop, hover over View, and pick large icons, medium icons, or small icons to change their size. You can also select Sort By and choose Name to alphabetize everything. A quick tip, if your desktop feels cluttered, try moving files to folders, we'll cover that soon. That's your basic intro to the desktop and start menu. We're off to a great start and there's so much more to explore. Let's move on to opening apps and managing Windows next. Now, let's dive into opening apps, managing your windows, and handling files, core skills every Windows user needs. Stick with me, and you'll be navigating like a pro in no time. Let's start with apps. Besides the Start menu, you can use the Search feature. Click the magnifying glass on the taskbar, or just click Start and type right away. Say you want to check the weather. Type Weather and hit Enter. The Weather app opens showing your local forecast if you've set your location. Search is super handy for finding anything, apps, files, even settings. Try typing calculator and open it for quick math. If an app isn't installed, Search might suggest downloading it from the Microsoft Store, which we'll explore later. Now when you open apps, they appear in Windows on your screen. Let's open two apps, say Microsoft Edge and Notepad. Click Edge on the taskbar to browse the web, then open Notepad from the Start menu. You've got two windows now. To switch between them, click their icons on the taskbar. Edge and Notepad light up when active. Want to see both at once? Drag Edge's title bar, the top edge, to the left until it snaps to half the screen. 
do the same with notepad to the right. Boom, split screen mode. This is great for multitasking, like reading a web page while taking notes. To maximize a window, click the square button in the top right corner. To minimize, click the dash. To close, hit the X. Here's a tip. If windows feel messy, hover over an app's taskbar icon. You'll see thumbnails of all its open windows. Click one to jump to it. Or press Alt plus Tab on your keyboard to cycle through everything open. Try it. It's a fast way to switch. Now, let's talk files with File Explorer. Click its icon on the taskbar, that yellow folder. File Explorer opens to Quick Access, showing frequent folders like Desktop, Documents and Downloads, plus recent files. Click this PC on the left to see your drives, usually C for your main storage. Double click C, then Users, then your username, and you'll find folders like Documents. Let's create a new folder here. Right click an empty spot, choose New, then Folder, and name it My Stuff. To move a file, say Vacation Photo from Downloads, open another File Explorer window, right click the taskbar icon, pick File Explorer, go to Downloads, and drag the photo to My Stuff. Done. You can also right click a file, pick Copy, go to My Stuff, right click, and hit Paste. One more trick. Right-click a file and select Rename. To change its name, like Vacation Photo to BeachDay.jpg, be careful not to change the .jpg part. That's the file type. Wow, we've covered a lot. Apps, Windows, and Files. If you're finding this helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to Passionate About Tech. It really motivates me to keep making tutorials like this, so don't forget to click subscribe and turn on notifications. Let's wrap up with some basic settings next. Alright everyone, we're in the final stretch of our Windows 11 beginner tutorial. We've tackled the desktop, apps and files. Now let's tweak some settings to personalize your experience. This is where Windows 11 gets fun, so let's dive in. Click the Start button and pick Settings. It's the gear icon. The Settings window opens to System. Scroll down to Display to adjust your screen. Want bigger text? Click Scale and bump it to 125%. Great for readability. If you've got multiple monitors they'll show here, drag their boxes to match their real positions. Next, go to Personalization from the left sidebar. Click Background to change your desktop image. Pick Picture, then Browse Photos, and choose something like FamilyPic.jpg quote from your Pictures folder. In Taskbar, you can hide it in desktop mode or move it back to the left if you prefer the old school Windows look. Click Taskbar, Taskbar Behaviors, find taskbar alignment, and switch from center to left. Let's set up Wi-Fi 2. Click the network icon in the system tray, bottom right corner, pick your Wi-Fi network, hit connect, and enter the password. Once connected, a globe or signal bars appear. If it's not working, go to settings, network and internet, Wi-Fi and toggle it on. A tip, restart your router if connections drop. Finally, the Microsoft Store. Search Store in the Start menu and open it. Browse Apps. Maybe grab Canva for design. Click Install. Sign in with your Microsoft account, or make one, and it downloads. Check Library in the store to see your apps. It's a safe way to add tools to Windows 11. That's it. You're now a Windows 11 beginner pro. You can navigate the desktop, open apps, manage files, and tweak settings. 
practice these steps and you'll feel right at home. If this tutorial helped you, please smash that like button and subscribe to Passionate About Tech.